This has been a very different year for the occupational safety and health profession because of COVID-19. Among the changes, the pandemic has affected the top violations OSHA issues to employers. One thing is back to normal this year. OSHA released its preliminary numbers at the National Safety Council's Congress and Expo. OSHA Director of Enforcement Patrick Kapust provided the list and some details on the exact violation inspectors are seeing and in which types of employment. Let's take a look at OSHA's most frequently cited violations for 2021. Number 1. Fall Protection General Requirements This standard has been number one for 11 years. Inspectors are finding unprotected sides and failure to use fall protection on low slope roofs, steep roofs, and around poles. Industries most affected are roofing, framing, and siding contractors, new single family housing construction, and commercial and institutional construction. Number two, respiratory protection. This general industry standard rises from number three last year. Inspectors are finding failure to do mechanical evaluations, fit testing not being done before use, failure to have a written program, failure to train employees about wearing respirators properly, and employers aren't selecting the right type of respirator for the workplace. The industries most affected by this violation were nursing care, medical and surgical hospitals, stone cutting and manufacturing, assisted living facilities, and automotive paint, repair, and maintenance. Most of these violations were due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Number three, ladders. Violators were not using ladders for the purpose they were designed for, allowing employees to stand on the top ladder step, using them on unstable or unlevel ground, and allowing employees to climb while carrying objects or loads that may cause a loss of balance. The industries most affected by this violation were roofing, framing and siding contractors, single-family home construction, and residential remodeling. Number 4. Scaffolding Violators were not providing fall protection, not preventing scaffolds from tipping, not fully planking or decking platforms, and not installing guardrails. The industries most affected by this violation were masonry, framing, roofing, and siding contractors. Number 5. Hazard Communication Violators didn't implement a written hazard communication program, failed to provide information and training to employees, didn't use labels properly, and didn't have safety data sheets readily available. The industries most affected by this violation were masonry and roofing contractors, chemical and institutional building construction, and machine shops. Number 6. Lockout Tagout Violators failed to have procedures, didn't conduct training, didn't perform periodic inspections, didn't have a complete lockout-tagout program, and didn't use lockout devices. The industries most affected by this violation were plastic product manufacturing, poultry processing, sawmills, and fabricated product manufacturing. Number 7. Fall Protection Training Requirements Violators didn't have written certification of training. Training wasn't being done by a competent person, and retraining wasn't done when required. The industries most affected by this violation were roofing and framing contractors, new home construction, and residential remodeling. Number 8. Eye and Face Protection Violators didn't provide eyesight protection and didn't use appropriate prescription lenses. The industries most affected by this violation were framing, masonry, and roofing contractors. Number 9. Powered Industrial Trucks Violators didn't ensure safe operation of the truck, provide refresher training and evaluation, certify training, require truck maintenance was done by a qualified person, and implement an operator training program. The industries most affected by this violation were general warehousing and storage, recyclable material dealers, stone product manufacturing, and machine shops. Number 10. Machine Guarding Violators didn't use the right types of guards, point of operation wasn't guarded, machinery wasn't anchored properly, and guarding allowed exposure to lathes. The industries most affected by this violation were plastics manufacturing, miscellaneous manufacturing, machine shops, and sheet metal shops.
Overall, the number of inspections and violations issued by OSHA in fiscal year 2021 decreased compared to the previous year, mostly due to the pandemic. OSHA staff have stated that inspection resources have shifted to workplaces where COVID-19 hazards are more likely to exist. What are your thoughts on the preliminary top 10 results? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss the next NASP info video.